I mean, he can run fast. He's had that international experience this year. They're at the start of the year on this track at the Murray Plant Meet, running that mile. Um, yeah, I, I'm fascinated to see what he's going to do here. The other one that will come to play here, we need to obviously go back to our Australian junior records as well to check what he can, what he can slash here because they'll be, they'll be in the record book. So we'll, we'll, we'll check on those as we go through because that's what Myers has just done and shattered in recent years is he keeps breaking Australian records for his age. So hard to fathom, but he's only 17. Yeah. So he's, he's looking at under 18 Australian records today. Um, so we'll check out what they, are, what they exist. Even though it's in the Oceana records at some of those ages, he'll be, he'll be looking to get some new territory. Matthew Ramson's been up with Jack, uh, training at Falls Creek. So he's in good company, what he's been putting together. And a couple of the on and athletes um, that we see kitted up in this event as well, who have recently joined the Oceana on Athletics Club in uh, Jesse Hunt and Ed Trippis. So the world best for a 17 year old is 7.47. So I reckon we're in a real chance to see a world age best here. That's interesting. I believe uh, Riley Bryce is the, uh, is the pacemaker for tonight. Um, from our information, he's going through the first 1,600 metres in 4 minutes and 14 seconds, which would be about 7.55 um, pace. And then they may just kick down from there. Either way, he's going to have plenty of company up the head of the field. Always interesting to see what Ramson's going to do when he toes the line as well. Yeah, fastest guy in the field with the 7.35. <laughs> and he's won the junior race before, hasn't he? The, the De Castella 3K, so he's familiar with Zadipek Knight. Tw twice from memory. I'll trust you. Now, this is a, uh, it's a stacked field. One of your men here, Michael, of course. Yeah, Liam Cashin with the uh, from Western Athletics. So we'll see if he runs like his his club mate Jack Rayner in his three thousand metres. So he's got the hip number four. I'd also suggest that here one of the big threats is probably we just saw his counterpart. I reckon Paul Robinson, with the form we just saw, course crew do. I reckon Paul Robinson could do anything here over three thousand metres. I think seven fifty eight will be obliterated by him. And if the field can run as quick as we think they can with Myers. Well, trying to Myers see. already has the under 18 and under 20 record at 752.06. Thanks to Dave Tarbottom for sending that one through. Um, so I reckon he'll want to shatter that. As we said, those world best at his age is 747. So that's in real threat tonight. Yeah, forget about Australian. Forget about Australian breast, Brody. We're going for world yeah. best. Cam Myers, come on. Be nice, <laughs> wouldn't it? So here we've got Stefan Music of New South Wales, Paul Robinson, the Irishman, Alistair Christie of Victoria, Liam Cushion, the Victorian, Zaid Al Saad of Lebanon, Connor Whiteley, New South Wales, Jude Thomas, Queensland, I reckon one of the big threats in the field you mentioned, Cameron Myers of Australia in that field. World Championship qualified the course this year. Edward Trippis, New South Wales, back one of the On Athletic stars. Jesse Hunt, Western Australia, joined that team as well. Thomas Dowd, South Australia. Adam Goddard, South Australia. Riley Bryce of Victoria, been doing good things in miles there. Is that him setting the tempo for us? Craig yeah. Huffer, the evergreen Craig Huffer. Yeah, the only one here, I reckon, in the field that's probably born in the 80s. Christopher Dale of Victoria and Matthew Rams in the West Australian we've talked about. And it's a single file train down the back straight. Brady, and I'll get you to give us a 400 split when they roll through. Yeah, it took them a while to get on the pace, but it's got been sorted now, and it looks like it's about 67, which I think is a bit too slow. So I reckon the pacer was probably correct, and he had to back it off to get the field together. Jude Thomas, remember, 2022. As a, I reckon he was a youngster, an underage athlete, maybe under 18 at the time, won the Open uh, National Champs for 3K which was pretty impressive. So he's definitely one to look out for as well, trying to spot him there, usually in the Puma kit. Yeah, just behind Matthew Ramsden in fifth. Cam Myers on his shoulder in sixth. So Liam Cashin, who we mentioned briefly earlier, he's just on the heels of our pacemaker in Riley Bryce as they go through the first 600 metres. He came third, um, an equal third, with his clubmate Cody Shanahan in the 5,000 metre Vic Champs the other week. So he's running well. He's in a bit of form. Um, and he's got a PB under eight minutes as well. So 
He's, uh, he's doing what he can right now to hang on to that pace of around a seven, uh, 756 and see what he can do in later stages because he can run. Myers recently stepped up to run 5K Road up at Noosa Bolt, uh, which is a long way for a junior athlete. I think he probably found that challenging. But I think he'd be much more at home here on the track and over 3,000 metres. And uh, that was a 2.14 for the first 800 metres, which is 8.20 pace. We're yeah, slow. it's pretty slow. I don't, Look, so I don't know. It's going to be a race. Exactly. And I'm not sure what the pacer would be doing. I don't. I doubt they would have had a pacer to go out at 8.20 pace. So, um, yeah, not sure what's going on there. And it's single file. I yeah. thought it would have been bunched at that kind of pace. So the interesting athlete here, I reckon, is Jesse Hunt, who's third on the track at the moment. Hip number 10 there, you see, in the Young Athletics Colours. 337 man in college, has come back and joined the crew here in Victoria. West Australian, before he went back over to the States, he's now really thriving, enjoying the uh, Victorian running culture here. He certainly wouldn't have had that sort of number of athletes around him when he was in WA, but then would have obviously loved the college experience. And one of the things when I was talking to the on guys down before when I disappeared to the track was that they described it as really similar to a college team. That's what Zach Faccioni described it as. It's like, it's like joining what he had in college. He left here as an individual athlete in the sport, went to college, became part of a team where it's all about team results. He's come back here, and that's the same care for each other. We've seen it tonight in the ladies' events, and I think we'll be seeing more of it in the future here and at these on-track nights where we have on pacemakers helping each other out. Yeah, and three wins from on so far as well. Can Jesse Hunt be four from four? They've picked this up. The last lap was 65, and this looks like it's going to be quick again. So maybe the instructions were settled and then winded up a bit. Um, well, but no one's really jumping on the heels. Yeah, 65 low again. Ed Trippis goes three wide for the first time and makes sure he doesn't get left out there. Of course, the uh, Olympic steeplechaser from Princeton in college. And it's not quick enough to lose anyone off the back of the pack yet as we go through... Well, almost 1,400 metres. Now, the pacemaker has reached about 5, 10 metres, but... He's trying. <laughs> yeah, the pack isn't following for one reason or another. And he steps off the track into lane three, and he's off, so it's a race now. Yeah, so no one's obviously feeling it tonight. Someone just wants to open their season with a win against some of the well-credentialed athletes. Ramsden's the tall figure you've seen, third, of course. The Victorian in front, Liam Cashin. We've seen him gutsy and brave and leading many many distance races here at Lakeside in the past as he goes under the on bridge. On his outside, Jesse Hunt, the West Austra former West Australian I mentioned before. Now moving out right, Alistair Christie in the Box Hill colours. Following him through there is Ed Trippis. And it's a bunch pack. There's, it's, it's anyone's race. It's going to be the brave one. Here's Alistair Christie who's decided enough's enough. I was here to run fast tonight. I'm going to kick it down with three laps to go. 69.8. And the fact that Alistair Christie is the one who's made the move, a good state runner. He would have been stoked to get a start in this field. Um, but really, it just shows that some of the more elite athletes in this field are just there to try and get the win. Ed Tripp is up on the heels of Hunt as well. All at once, he sort of made a move from about seventh into third. So it's... Christy, Hunt, and Trippus, so two on athletes at the head of the field. Ones to watch, though, Thomas, Ramson, Myers, they're still sort of floating around the middle of the pack. Myers is so tactically good as well for such a young runner. Like, he, we saw him overseas, we've seen him here. Um, when he races, he generally gets it right. So as we mentioned, there's not going to be any world best now at threat, unfortunately. <laughs> I was ready to get loud and crazy <laughs> and call 7.45 for Myers. But he's obviously just wants to open his domestic season here with a win. And it's big scalps he's talking about. Matthew Rams, international athlete, Olympian Ed Trippus, Jesse Hunt, part of that on team. And with two laps to go here, what have we gone through? At 6.05, are we really interested to see, or 6.06, to see what our last 800 metres and to see what sort of speed Myers has after that long European campaign he had this year. Who rolls the dice first? Ramsden's poised. Myers is in the same zone as him. Jude Thomas... And here it goes. So Myers would be loving his position right now, right up on the shoulder of Jesse Hunt, just behind Alistair Christie. Ramston, though, is up on the heels of Myers. He doesn't want him to make any massive moves without him being in a position to do something about it, Nick. With 600 metres to go, no one goes past Myers from here. That's my call. He checks his left. He's realised that Ramson's on his right, and he's just going to hold 500 metres. He's going to try and hold this rail and tell, you, tell them all they're going to have to get around him to take this victory. So Myers, familiar with this, he won the here last year. 
in the junior race, the De Castella race. The boys tonight almost run the same time the old the, the uh, senior athletes might go here. So Cameron Myers, the prodigy from New South Wales. Rams and goes at the bell and Myers lets him go, oh. which is interesting. Right on their heels is Jesse Hunt. Next behind them is the one we talked about in Jude Thomas. Behind them, it looks to be Robinson in the mix and then Liam Cashin. 300 metres to go. Ramsden, he's been here on the biggest night we've had previous to this and that was the Nitro event on that night he was representing the Usain Bolt team. <laughs> Tonight he's flying the flag and trying to get back onto those world top world class teams and it's mm. Jesse Hunt, the on athlete. He wants to add a victory for the on men. Cameron Myers not looking as sharp as we've seen him previously but he's only 17, we expect a lot of him. So Ramsden, Hunt, as they go through the bridge, there's still Myers in it. Does Myers swing wide? Ramsden, Jesse Hunt, Cameron Myers, three wide. He won't get there tonight. It's a Ramsden and Hunt affair. Ramsden, Hunt, Ramsden oh! on the inside. Oh! Hunt second. So two West Australians. You're calling it. Myers, Jude Thomas, Cashin, Robinson. S music comes through next. It looked to be Whiteley coming through. The time was irrelevant, as we mentioned. Trippus, the on athlete, and the Olympian. I've called it. I'll wait for the photo. Photo, photo please. <laughs> I, I do want like the photo. going early. Craig Mottram's hands are on his head as that happened at the finish line there. He thought it was close. Here we go. We're going to look at our screens here and call it. Ramsden held form beautifully. Is he getting back to his best? He knows how hard it is to break into these Australian teams now, 1,505,000. Now, Jesse Hunt threw everything at him. He never quite got to the shoulder. Oh. oh I've called oh. it incorrectly, maybe. Oh, it's going to be a massive throw. It's too Jesse close. Jesse Hunt's throw was magnificent. And what a run by him. I like, oh. don't know a lot about him, and he's come out and taken potentially Myers and Ramsden. I'm going to be happy to be called wrong here if it means it's another on athlete. <laughs> four from four. It's almost like it's been set up. Oh. <laughs> Scripted, you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> it's all marketing. <laughs> Love to see it. Matthew Ramsden by 0 0.01 of a second. 800.20. Jesse Hunt, 800.21. So, especially going the first four laps at 820 pace. <laughs> I don't know what they closed in, but. They've closed. They went 606. They've closed in 154. Brady looked at me funny and said, we're going to go to the photo. I'd called it and said it was a certainty, Brady. Don't ever doubt me. 0.01. I'm, we're not even on the finish line here. Bruce has kicked us out of the finish line call, so we're 10 metres past it, but my eyesight's okay. They went early on the fire too. That threw me. I reckon Matthew Ramsden thought the fire's going off. I've won this race. And then, um, yeah, that was an epic finish. And Jesse Hunt, so impressed that he could yeah. throw down like that. It's, it was an underwhelming time for us because we kept talking about the times at the start yeah. of the race. But in the end, it's become the most exciting <laughs> yeah. night of the race. And, you know, Ramsden's world class. Jesse Hunt, look, really probably the most unknown in the field for yeah. Australian yep. fans because he left straight after his junior year. Um, 337, nothing to sneeze at in the States. But because we've had so many distance runners running so quick, um, Myers was the hot topic. Nothing wrong with his race at all, though, for the, for the junior it was a massive year for him. He'll keep building up. Jude Thomas was there in the mix. Ed Troopers threw, flew home late. It just tells you a bit about the depth of uh, Australian distance running. It's exciting. All these runners coming through, and we're going to cross to an interview pretty soon with Matthew Ramsden and Mitch. It comes down to a finish like that. More often than not, you'd back your kick, and today it prevailed. Uh, yeah, I, well, I've been scrutinised a little bit about my kick not being up to scratch, so... I'm glad after a few months of base, um, you know, a good three weeks at Falls Creek, I was able to kick hard home. I don't know what the last lap was, but I feel it was fast. No, it was flying. I couldn't tell you exactly. But to have someone like Jesse and also Cam right on your tail, obviously you've raced Cam over the domestic season. Jesse's just come back from the NCAA. So what was it that you were expecting over that final 600 metres that maybe caught you off guard or did it go the way you thought? Uh, I was honestly hating it when I saw the splits, like how slow it was because... Um, everyone gets worried about a kick down, except the guys who aren't fit enough. But, um, yeah, I knew it was going to be tough. Honestly, Cam, Jude, Jesse. I saw Jesse training at Falls and looked like he was going pretty well, same as Ed Trippers. So I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I was running a lot at Falls Creek, did no real hard sessions, maybe one um, in the last week. And, yeah, showed I'm in decent enough shape. 
It's uh, a big year for you. You've made every major team except for the one that comes up in 2024. I think that's underrated. It doesn't get spoken about enough for you. But how big is this now moving into a huge year? That 1500 meters is so competitive. Is it the 5K? Is it just a year where you want to get better? How do you approach this Olympic cycle now? Um, the approach stays the same, but maybe I've got to look at other options like the 5K. Uh, I run a decent 5K, but I've never really focused on it the last few years. So. Um, I'm doing a little bit more strength work, running a few more miles than I normally would, and hopefully that translates into a good 5K. Well, there's ever a man who loves winning 3,000s at Lakeside. It's Matty Ramson. Congratulations, you're 3,000-meter champion for the men's Matt Ramson. Well done, big fella.